Great day, everyone. This is Engineer Jericho Mahandog, and my co-author is Dr. Ahmed Mianda Howie, and we are from the De La Salle University. Our research is entitled The Growth of Digital Money During the Community Quarantine Periods in the Philippines and Analysis. With the stay-at-home protocols, closure of businesses, and physical restrictions, people heavily rely on technology to continue their spending and business activities. We have came up with these statements of the problem. First, is there an increase in digital money usage during the community quarantine periods in the Philippines? Second, is there a decrease in cash usage during the community quarantine periods in the Philippines? And third, what are the factors that contribute to the growth of digital money usage during the COVID-19 pandemic? For the significance of the study, digital money will serve as a great alternative to cash to ensure the continuity of economic activities. These digital tools will help firms to generate more revenue and continue the economic cycle. The monitoring of transactions can be done through data science so that we can know where the money is circulating and which industries are benefiting from the usage of fintech. And lastly, financial technology is a great way towards an increased financial inclusion here in the country. For the research design, we are pertaining at the community quarantine period from March until October 2020. Online surveys were given to respondents and majority of them are from the middle income class. And most of them are from the workforce because they have an access to technology and have steady streams of cash flows. People should be currently living in the Philippines, and we have gathered a total of 171 respondents, and that gave us a 95% level of confidence and 8% margin of error. The conceptual framework for this research was based on the theory of recent action. The survey are asking the respondents on the purpose or on why they are using digital money, their frequency of using them also Likert scales to assess their financial insights and behaviors. And lastly, we are looking at digital money as e-wallet, online credit and debit card, and online bank transfer. For the results of the research, the top reasons for using digital money is first, to pay for online purchases. Top two is to send and receive money to family and friends. And then the third place is to pay their bills. For the frequency of using digital money, we have seen that in cash, we are using it at 19.14 days out of 30 days in a month before the committee quarantine period. And now during the pandemic, we are using only cash at 8.39 days out of 30 days in a month. And that is a significant decrease of 56.17%. Online bank transfer recorded an increase of 93.92% growth online credit and debit card at 80.31%, and lastly, e-wallet's growth is 33.57%. For the financial behaviors, we ask the respondents if they see digital money as something convenient, is it better than cash, do they find it easily adaptable, and lastly, do they use digital money because of physical restrictions due to stay-at-home protocols? They should answer whether they strongly agree and their score will be five. Agree is four and so on. These are the mean scores. And as we can see, this fall under, this, under the range of agree and strongly agree. And the Shapiro-Wilk or p-values is less than 0 0.001, which means that all answers are statistically significant. We can see that more frequent users of digital money have higher behavioral scores. As for the level of recommendation, we have asked the respondents whether they will recommend using digital money to their family and friends. 55% will strongly recommend it, 37% will recommend it, and 8% is neutral about the issue. 0% will not recommend using them. We can see on this regression line that higher levels of recommending digital money have higher behavioral scores. And those who are neutral about it have lower behavioral scores. As for the conclusion that answers our statements of the problem, the significant growth of digital money is seen as 
80% and 33% for online bank transfers, online credit and debit card, and e-wallet respectively. There is a general decrease of cash usage by 56.17%. And lastly, physical restrictions, convenience, adaptability in using technology, and positive acceptance of fintech are the motivating drivers in increasing the usage of digital money. With regression lines and correlation tests, there is a trend with usage frequency against financial behaviors. As for the recommendations, the researcher may incorporate additional independent variables such as the amount of money involved in a transaction, the spending and consumption levels of individuals, and the business environment of the respondents. Thank you very much for listening.